our co-main event, and it's brought to you by JM Lexus, the number one Lexus dealer in the world. Jason the Specimen Suarez in the all-black trunks. J.P. Reese in the black and white. Suarez landing a left. The jab, oh, big left hand big drops left. J.P. nearly. Still on his feet, but oh, taken down. J.P. looking like he's working for a choke here himself. Jason Suarez trying to work his way out of that choke. The undefeated 5-0 fighter. Wow. Athleticism on display, but J.P. dropping down for another guillotine. With such high uh, collegiate wrestling credentials. That's J.P.'s world down there. J.P. Reese training an American top team, the headquarters in Coconut Creek. Jason Suarez in one of the more underappreciated camps in South Florida, FFA, the Freestyle Fighting Academy. They do excellent work there, Frank. And Jason Suarez has also trained extensively over in California with former UFC Bantamweight champion Dominic Cruz. Suarez has also been a contestant on American Ninja Warrior. They call him the specimen. He's extremely athletic. As you've seen already, big right hand. Second time he's connected really hard on JP. Watch your legs, watch JP your legs, Reese on his back. Leg. Reese, a strike force and Bellator veteran. There's a little blood I see. Is that blood I see on JP's shoulder? What? Big left hands from Suarez. Yeah, JP's bleeding pretty bad. Bleeding out of the nose, it seems. Yes. Half guard, Jason. Half guard, Jason. Yeah, yeah. Came from that little flurry of ground and pound right there. Elbows. Jason Suarez, 5-0, and has finished every single Elbow, fight. Jay. One by TKO, Elbow. four Elbow. by rear Elbow. naked choke Elbow. submission. He is a rear naked choke machine. Big time left hands coming down once again. Yes, right there. Elbow. Elbow. The crowd chanting Jason. Wow, he is, he is just hammering him right now. Just Elbow. hammering him. Oh. There's blood on both, bro, both eyes right now, I think. Really Reese. opened him up. Working for a leg is JP. Suarez trying to spin out of it, and he does. Watch Half face. guard's open. Half guard you want. Back in top control, Jason Suarez. Most of his fights have been quick finishes, but last time Half around guard. against John DeJesus, took him right four, minutes and 36, the four minutes and 36 right seconds, down. excuse Watch me, down, into the third and final round before he finished the fight. Watch Watch Only 24 Watch seconds left on the clock before his rear naked choke. So he has gone close to the distance before. Big right hand again, and the crowd is starting to go. ground and pound is fantastic. Oh, big elbows by Jason Suarez. Really beating him up. And over two minutes left here for J.P. Reese to survive. Yes, yeah, step, step, step. J.P. coming off a couple wins outside of fight time. Watch your neck. Looking to get back in the winning track here at fight time promotions, but not looking too good here in the first round. Into the final couple minutes here of round number one as the specimen trying to finish that takedown, finish that double leg. JP, the higher credentialed wrestler. Suarez, though, was very good at Coral Shores High School in Key Largo. Half guard, good. There you go, Jason. Free the left arm now. Attack with the left arm. Bow the arm. Yes, bow the arm. Yes. Suarez just working relentlessly, Frank, not giving up. No, just not letting JP relax at all, not letting him breathe. The ground and pound has been really effective. And he saw a little healthy rivalry budding between these two. Pretty intense stare down before the fight. We're staring each other down at the weigh-ins yesterday as well. I think both of these guys have a lot of respect for one another. JP just holding on to the arm of Suarez, not in position for an actual submission, but controlling that right arm. Take the back. This is your game, Jason. Oh, it's Jason Suarez trying to take the back. He's got two hooks in now. Oh, he got a little too eager, Alex. Got a little too eager. He didn't have those hooks all the way in, and now he's now he's on his back. 40 seconds, Jason. 40 seconds. So now on top is J.P. Reese in our co-main event. Remember our main event coming up next between Mike the Wolverine Rio and Avery the Irish Hurricane McFadden. Should be an excellent bout between Mike Rio, who's just coming off a stint in the UFC, and Avery McFadden coming off the victory of his life, submitting Mike Bruno at fight time 18. J.P. trying to score a few points now himself. Probably won't be enough to win the round here in the no. final 10 seconds, but 
definitely a good sign for JP to finish this first round on top here at the War Memorial Auditorium. Fight time 19, Battle of the Brave. They will go to round number two. Round number two, and it's brought to you by Patriot National Insurance Group. Strength, excellence, and tenacity in the workers' comp arena was an excellent first round for the specimen Jason Sorez, who lands a kick there, partially blocked by J.P. Reese, who did finish the first round in top control, despite being beaten up pretty badly, Frank, for most of that round. There's a right hand. Jumping knee by J.P. Reese. Sorez going for the single leg. Now a double. Watch your back, watch your back. Good circle, you're Oh, Sorez completing that. Yeah, he's just driving over, but no. Up, 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 up. scramble. Well, wow, that's impressive, Alex, considering how good JP is at wrestling. That is an impressive move by Sorez to complete that takedown. Had a couple of nice scrambles already in this fight. And JP is not used to this, Frank. To no. be on the bottom for so long, for a great wrestler, like you said, this is not familiar territory. No, not at all. He took a lot of damage in the first round from this position, so I would think he'd be wanting to get out, get to his feet as quickly as he can. Yes, stop that knee in. Good. Jason Sorez, just 24 years old, really confident young prospect here against the 33-year-old J.P. Reese. Sorez has not tasted defeat yet in his young MMA career at 5-0. He's in the half guard right now, trying to pass into side control. J.P. always does a nice job, though, controlling that neck and uses that to work his way back to his feet. Yes, he does. That was a really beautiful stand-up. Where the head goes, the body goes. What we've seen so far is just great chain wrestling from Jason Sorez. Anytime a takedown is stuffed or defended, he always drives and finishes it one way or another. Up, 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 head positioning, head positioning, yes. If you like what you see, you're going to want to attend Fight Time 20 here at Fort Lauderdale's War Memorial Auditorium. Coming your way August 29th. Go to FightTimePromotions.com for tickets. Two shows left to close out the year here. It'll be Fight Time 20, August 29th. Fight Time 21, November 7th. It's J.P. Reese now, Frank, working yeah. at top. J.P. Reese looks like to be the stronger fighter right now. Kind of taking control of the fight a little bit. Now, Sorez hasn't gone to deep water very often, Frank. He's only seen the third round once in his career. We're just over midway into round number two. You gotta wonder, the deeper this fight goes, will the advantage go to JP in his gas tank? Yeah, and his experience. And JP's been around. And he's even been in Bellator, I think. JP starting to work a little bit more now with those short right hands. Definitely thinking more about position than he is ground and pound at the moment. But the right hand's coming in once again. He's aggravating Suarez right now. Yeah, aggravating, but also scoring. You know, so it's a good round for JP so far. Suarez was trying to use his hips to get back to his feet, but JP really heavy on top of him right now. Of course, moments ago it was JP on his back, but now showing off that great wrestling, that top control, a chance to take the back here. Little punches to the side of the head. What a huge notch it would be on JP's belt if he could become the first man to beat Jason Suarez. Sure, and, and the way it's looking, potentially beat him at his own game, rear naked choke. J.P. Reese, originally from Michigan, now training and residing in South Florida at ATT Coconut Creek. He always takes that blue-collar type attitude, Frank, to the cage. Bring the lunch pail to work type of guy. Yeah, he is. He's, he's a real pleasure to talk to. And I, we should also mention, he, he does a great job coaching at the uh, Cardinal Gibbons High School wrestling team. Tremendous work indeed. Controlling that neck again. I mean, he's just trying to zap the soul out of yes. Jason Suarez. Yes. Grind him down, wear him down. And in my estimation, with 30 seconds here to go, assuming we see the end of round two, hard to argue against JP winning this round. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. He's been in control. Jason 
Sosora is being rolled up like a pretzel right now. And it's funny, you have dueling chants in the arena, half the crowd chanting JP, the other half chanting Jason. <laughs> So we'll go to a third and final round. This fight could very well be one round of peace right now. Only the second time Jason Soares has ever seen a third and final round in a fight. How will he respond? Oh, big right hand, that's how. But J.P. Reese twisting him, taking him down, controlling the neck right now. At the end of that second round, Frank, J.P. certainly looked like the fresher fighter. Pop your head out. Pop your head yeah, he out. caught him with that left and then the swung yes, him to the ground here. Yes, yes, yes. Lock it up. Lock it up. Looks to be Lock it up. Well, he's got a choke. Swords has got his neck pretty tight. Didn't have the guard, though. J.P. trying to spin around. Soares has the neck, but not the position. He is on top now, though. You know, he's got a lot of pressure from that angle. You just can't usually finish a guillotine from there. Let's see what JP is doing from the bottom. Yeah, JP's maneuvering at that point made it look like it was tighter than we thought it was. Zorez is still working on that net. Yeah, that's a lot of, that's a lot. You're blowing out your arms if that doesn't come through for you. It's a great point, Frank. Alex Dono here, cage side, alongside Frank Zaffery. Tremendous fight, a war here between Jason Suarez and J.P. Reese. Head in the middle. Jason, put your head in the middle. Yes. The winner of this third round could very well be the winner of the fight. Jason Suarez right now. Reaping that beneficial top position, down, but JP working back nearly to his feet, but Jason working hard for that. Come up to your feet. Come up to your feet. Come up, Jason. Come up. Jason, up to your feet. So JP back. Like the hands up to your feet. Back on his feet. Yes. Good. Pressing Suarez up against the cage now. Suarez reverses. Yeah, JP Reese. The older of the two was trying to play the role of big brother. Suarez answers with a knee and they separate. Nearly midway through oh. the third and final round. Big right hand. Right. No, no, no. Under hooks. Put him on the fence. Avoiding that takedown with Suarez. Suarez now working JP against the fence. Great matchmaking here by Howard Davis Jr. in Fight Time Promotion. Such an even fight. Work the body here. I mean, so far, Frank, in Jason Suarez's young career, he's made it look very easy, but JP is making him work for every second of this. Big right-left combination. Head up! JP Reese cranking down on the neck again. Suarez drove in, but J JP sprawled out of that takedown. Yes, you're not recording, Jason. I mean, this third round, about as close to a stalemate as you could possibly have. Yeah, just with Soros with the takedown was really the... So many finishes tonight, the judges have not been necessary. Pile driver from J.P. Reese. Pop your head out. But the judges will have their work cut out for them here. If this fight goes to the scorecard, still a minute and a half here for one of these men to try and finish. Walk to the side. And Suarez is going to be able to pop out and get on top here. So right now, Suarez is on top. Got his back. Got JP's back. Remember how dangerous the rear naked choke of Suarez. He's got the body lock right now. The body triangle. Trying to lock in the right arm under the chin. Jason Suarez looking for another win by rear naked choke. JP Reese taps wow. out. He what finished him. What a performance from Jason Suarez. Another rear naked choke on his resume. Incredible. So, wow. Fifth time in the fight time cage for Suarez. Fifth win by rear naked choke. This is unbelievable. Never had to work so hard in his career. But Suarez improves to 6-0 and overall. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to a halt at 3 minutes 57 seconds of the third round. Your winner, due to another rear naked choke and still undefeated, Jason, the specimen.
Sarez. And let's hear it one more time for J.P. Reese. Would you say this is a great fight? Incredible. Jason, you are 6-0 and right now. And because you are undefeated right now, your next fight is going to be for the title. All right, Jason, congratulations. Unbelievable fight. Back and forth battle going into the third round. It was definitely knotted up at one apiece, in my opinion. You came out strong in the third. You got the finish. How you feeling right now? Unbelievable fight. Um, I don't think I've ever been happy after a fight. I always feel like I can do a lot better. Uh, the first round went all right. J.P. Reese is awesome. I look up to him. He's a veteran. has over 20 fights or something. Second round, I saw I just took off, you know? I knew he won the round. I was being lazy, and, and I, I can't do that, you know? To become a champion, like a world champion, you, you have to do every second, go hard, hard base. And a little disappointed in the second round. But other than that, it was a good fight. I thank you very much for coming out. All my people from Key Largo, Junior, Jake, the Mika Soupy tribe for sponsoring me, 401 Pain, America's Industrial, Realty, awesome. I, I love the support, guys. Thank you so much. And of course, the Freestyle Fighting Academy and Women Only Fitness Boot Camp. All right, well, you did an unbelievable job. Definitely your toughest test to date. And now, CEO Howard Davis Jr. letting you know your next fight's going to be for a title. What's that feel like? Uh, I mean, it's great. It's real great. Honestly, Rich, man, I come in here every time and look, for, look at one fight at a time. My coach, Master Marcos, Master Dave, they tell me what to do in training. I never worry about the fights. I, I, didn't even look at, I never look at a video of my guys, you know. My, my team does that for me. So I'm just ready to come here and come, become 7-0 in the next fight. That's all. Well, I have no doubt you have the ability to do it. Tell us, stepping into the cage tonight, definitely fighting, uh, you know, an opponent with the amount of experience that J.P. Reese has. Was that a good experience for you and a good progression as you becoming a better fighter? Yeah, I need those fights, but I'm going to come back a lot stronger, guys. I promise a better performance next time. And I hope to see everyone here at fight time, right, guys? <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for coming out. Thank you so much, Rich. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the undefeated Jason the Specimen Soares.